Hey, what's up guys? Nathan Hamilton here. Today I'm going to show you how to essentially color grade your movies within iMovie. If you're familiar with iMovie at all, you know it's pretty simple to use, but a very powerful video editor. And color grading is no exception. And if you're not familiar with what color grading is or what color correction is, it's essentially that thing that you've never recognized within a film or a video that you see, but you know it looks great. You know that someone professional has shot it. And part of that is because of color correction, and that's taking essentially the footage you shot, in this case on my trip to Myanmar with my wife, this was shot on an iPhone 6. So it's taking that footage and essentially uses color to create your feelings. And you know, if it's a dark movie, you may bump down shadows. If it's a brighter movie, maybe you'll bump up the warmth and the saturation just to convey a different sort of feeling. I'm going to take you through how to use it within iMovie. And if you haven't before, I would definitely suggest adding this to your repertoire because it is something pretty powerful. So to access the color correction, just go ahead and select the clip. And then you'll go up to this palette here. And you'll notice a few things. And it looks a little bit confusing, but once you're actually used to it, it's very straightforward and I'll take you through what each one of these items is um, as we work through the movie. So let's start off from square one. And you notice this slider bar here and when you hover over it, it's going to affect the shadows. So as you see within these um, figures here, there are some shadows in the background. And what I wanna do is bump those down a little bit. I tend to like a, a good dark shadow um, especially since this was shot in the middle of the day and um, may not be the best golden hour sort of uh, feel to the So we'll just bump that down a little bit. And you can see if you go all the way, it takes the shadows down significantly. It just doesn't look right there. And I would say, if anything, you'll just play around with these. But I would use minimal small movements because even though small movements can have a big impact on how someone feels when watching the video rather than uh, going to very extreme scenarios like that when you're bumping the shadows down a bit. So let's take it down just a smidge there. And then these here are going to be your contrast adjustments. And if you think of contrast, it's essentially the difference between your lightest lights and your darkest darks. And in this case, since it was uh, very bright during the day, I do want to expand the contrast quite a bit. And if you look in the clouds in the background, you'll see some differences here. And uh, I'm going to actually go with a good amount of contrast. There, that looks like about it. We'll scroll through the video just to make sure everything, sorry, scrub through the video and make sure everything still looks, uh, still looks good. Okay, so for this middle slider here, that's going to adjust your brightness. Um, and you can see when you bump it up here, the sky gets a bit lighter blue when you bump it down. Overall, it's a darker uh, sort of video. I'm going to take it down just a little bit. I think that's actually a little too much for my tasting. So I'll slide it over just a little bit there. Okay, and as we scrub, scrub through, still looks good. So on the right-hand side is what's called highlights. And if you think of highlights, it's essentially the opposite of the shadows. And the easiest way to see how this works is look at these clouds here and when you adjust the highlights up it's going to blow them out and there's less detail whereas when you drop them down there's there's going to be more detail within the clouds so since clouds have a good amount of character to them i actually want to get some more detail in it there's some good detail in this in this uh, video already but i'm just going to bump them down just a smidge there and of course scrub through to make sure everything looks Pretty normal. Okay, yeah, I like that. Now going to the next one, you're going to see saturation. And if you think of saturation, it's essentially bumping it up to add more to more color, to make brighter gold, to make the blues of the umbrella pop quite a bit more. And you can see when you bump it up, the sky gets almost uh, chroma sort of blue, which looks a little unnatural. The green leaves get even greener. Um, but I do like a lot of color in my videos, so pretty much anything can use a little bit more saturation. Bumping up, bumping up the saturation is probably a good move here. Let's scrub through it to see if everything looks right. 
you can see, yeah, that's a bit too much there. And going on to the last one is what you're going to see is adjusting temperature. And if you think of temperature, let's get to a point in the film that is relevant. Okay. If you go all the way to the right, it's going to add a ton of orange. And if you go all the way to the left, it's going to make it cooler and add a lot of blues to your image. Um, as I mentioned, I like a good amount of color and it does show pretty well so far, but I'm just going to bump up that temperature just a little bit because what will happen if we go back to this clip here is it will make these gold stand out quite a bit more, which really makes more of an impact on, uh, on the film as you're watching it. Let's just play with it a little bit. Okay, that looks about good there. And, and as I mentioned here, there's really no set amount of color correction that is right. It's essentially what's right for you. So I would suggest playing around with the different settings, be it shadows, contrast, brightness, and highlights, saturation, and temperature. And you'll start to get a, a good feeling of what each does. And more important than anything, I would ask yourself, when you are color correcting your movie, take a look at the feeling you're looking to convey and go ahead and put that into the color correction because if it is a brighter movie, you want to add more colors. If it's a deeper, darker, satire sort of uh, film, then sure, bump down the shadows, bump down that temperature, take some saturation out, make it a flatter video, which it does have some relevance. Just not for what I wanted here because it's colorful Myanmar and I really want to make that pop. So as we see, here's the final video and what it looks like compared to the other original. And an easy way to do that is essentially just copy and paste it and we'll throw these up next to each other. We'll do a split screen here. Do a split screen. We'll go here. And you can see those are actually the same videos. So what we'll do is remove the color correction from one. And as you can see on the right here, that is going to be our original video. And on the left here, that's going to be the color corrected version. As we play it here, you can see quite a bit of difference in those golds in the sky. Some more color to it. I think it looks a lot better. Look at the green wall, much better. And overall, does add a lot of character to this short cut. Now that you've seen them side by side, here's the final video with a little bit of music added to it. That's it for color correction guys i hope you found this tutorial useful and can put it to use in your own videos to make them pop if you have any questions go ahead and leave them down in the comments be happy to answer any for you and go ahead and hit that like button because that does help more people see this video and as a new youtuber it is something that i'm looking to get some views so if you did find it useful go ahead and comment go ahead and like the video go ahead and subscribe There'll be more videos to come. We'll talk about photography, video, technology, all of it. That's what I'm into, and that's what I wanted to show you guys. Thanks. Peace.